Hello everyone, welcome back to SP Gubi online classes for uh, NCRT and uh, 10 sta NCRT 10 standard and uh, CBAC 10 standard. So we are uh, going with the uh, problems on arithmetic progressions. So we are in a phase of very important uh, problems. We are passing through it. So before that, usually we go with uh, the topper secrets. So this is uh, topper secret number eight, which most of the students, 98% of the students don't do it. Actually, toppers do it because of this, they become toppers. So most of the students come to me and ask, sir, uh, which are the important uh, problems for examinations? Which problems we have to give much emphasis so that we can score well in the exams? See, this is very important. Most 98% as I told you, they are very well versed with the problems which are in the NCRT textbook or the prescribed textbooks of their particular syllabus. Nobody looks beyond that. So most of the questions in the examinations are repeated. So which questions are repeated? Which particular area problems are repeated? So here, every student, when the entire syllabus is completed, they go for revision using the last 10 year question papers. See, this is a usual routine thing what uh, teachers also help in doing it and most of the students do it, uh, do it by themselves. So what is the criteria here is, as soon as the chapter is completed, for example, arithmetic progressions chapter is, it is okay, nearby it is getting completed. So at this time, what a student has to do is, you are well versed with all the concepts now. You are well versed in uh, problems on sequences, you are good at uh, uh, nth term problems, you are doing well on SN problems and uh, we are still going depth, in, uh, depth into that. So all these things are going on. So at this time, particular time, what a student, a topper student does is, he takes the 10, year, 10 years old question papers, that is board exam question papers, preparatory exam question papers, he takes out he starts collecting problems or pooling problems from particularly this arithmetic progression chapter. For example, some 2015 final exam uh, CBSE question paper, NCRT question paper. He takes it, he looks for the, he searches for the uh, problems or arithmetic progressions in it. So he will get it, he will pick it out. That particular problem will be a little bit totally different from the problem which is in the textbook. But it is on the same concept but the problem is a different one. So which your teacher has not done it on the board or nor, nor you are going to get them in your uh, uh, exercise uh, problems. So he picks the problem up, he solves it, he ha if he has any doubts he approaches his teacher or if he gets the solution he approaches his teacher and gets a confirmation that the method is or the pattern what he has followed in solving this is right or wrong. See, from all the papers, he is going to collect those problems, make a big list of that and uh, he <coughs> includes those problems with the classwork. So, once he does it, he is ready with the entire concept of automatic progression. So, if in this 2000, uh, maybe 2021 20, uh, examinations, if he gets a question paper, maybe the particular question got in 21 question paper will be same as one of the problems he has solved already. He knows the concept. Maybe the concept is same but numbers are changed. That's the only thing which can happen not other than that. So follow this according to the <coughs> toppers criteria. Follow 10 years question paper not at the uh, completion of syllabus but after the completion of each and every chapter in mathematics and science. This is the mind blowing concept you have to remember this. So today we will be going with uh, all 4 more questions on automatic progressions where you will feel uh, easy because I anticipate because you have well versed with the theory on automatic progressions you are good in that so I can see that uh, uh, grip what you have got through your homeworks what I am seeing in the WhatsApp, it is really fantastic. I can't believe, believe seeing that. I am very happy to see that. I feel proud myself because my students are learning very nicely. Your presentation is good. You are 100% following me. 
Yes, you have to follow the teacher. That leads to the success, right? So let us go with today's four mark questions, which are very important. Some of first four terms of an AP is forty. So it's like there is an uh, AP. Uh, an AP is there. An AP. So in that AP, he has taken uh, first four terms. That is A, A plus D, A plus two D, A plus three D. He has added all the four terms. So after adding all the four terms, he has got the sum as forty. And next, what he does is, and that of first. 14 terms is 280. So in the same AP, starting from the first term to the 14th term, he is going to take the sum. From first term to 14 terms, he is going to take the sum. That is A plus A plus 2D plus A plus 3D plus 4D plus 5D. Dot 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 A plus until A plus 13D is going to take the sum. So when he takes that sum in the same AP, he gets the sum as 280. So using these two things, data as data. Find the sum of first n terms. So in that AP, you have to find the sum of first n terms. Okay. So we'll go with this. We'll take the first one. Sum of first four terms of an AP is 40. We'll take that data. So we'll go with this. So the sum of first four terms is 40. Very simple. Yes, four indicates sum up to four terms. So yes, four. We will define this. Uh, S4 can be defined as n by 2. That is 4 by 2 into 2a plus 4 minus 1 into t, which is equal to 40. That is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So this is the formula. To one side, to two side goes 2 into 2a plus d into okay. 4 minus 1 is a 3. 3 into d is 3d is equal to 40. So we'll uh, transpose for two to the RHS below 40. That becomes 2a plus 3d is equal to 40 by 2. So it becomes 20. So an equation is set up here. 2a 2a plus 3d is equal to 20. Take it as equation one. So why this should be taken as equation one? Why we cannot convert this into a term because here 2a is there, 3d is there. You cannot take any anything as common. One thing. So, using two unknowns, you can solve. You cannot solve an equation. So, therefore, set up this as an equation one. That is, two a plus three d is equal to twenty. So, now let us go with the next thing. Next data and that of first fourteen terms. That of first fourteen terms is two a d. So, let us take that sum of fourteen terms is two hundred and eighty. Sum of first fourteen terms is two a d. So let us define this fourteen as fourteen. So fourteen by two into two a plus fourteen minus one into d is equal to two hundred and eighty. So fourteen divided by two is uh, seven. Two ones are to seven times. So seven into two a plus fourteen minus one is thirteen. Thirteen into d is thirteen d is equal to two eighty. So two a plus thirteen d. Is equal to 280 by 7. So 2a plus 13d is equal to 7 ones are 7 now maybe 40 is it goes 40 times. So 2a plus 13d is equal to 40. Right. Let us take it as equation one because. Equation two because here we have two uh, a as the variable, d as the variable. We cannot take out anything common here, so take it as equation two. So now we are with uh, two equations, that is linear equations in two variables. So we have to solve this in order to get, el el eliminate one of the variable and get the value of the another. So we we'll go by the elimination method. So we have two uh, a plus three d is equal to twenty and two a plus thirteen d is equal to forty. So we have same terms here two a and two uh, a. So it is better to subtract equation one or or you can subtract equation two from equation one. So subtract equation two uh, from equation one. So two a plus three d is equal to twenty. And 2a plus 13d is equal to 40. So as the sign changes, 
So plus 2a minus 2a gets cancelled. Minus 13d plus 3d is minus 10d is equal to minus 40 plus 20 is minus 20. So minus and minus cancels. So d is equal to 20 by 10. So 10 ones are 10 twos are. So therefore d is equal to 2. So the value of d is 2. So we have got uh, one of the uh, value of the variable that is d. So now we can find out the value of a by substituting d in any one of the equations that is equation 1 or equation 2. So to find to find a we will do this. Okay. Let us take any one of the equations. Let us take this 2a plus 3d is equal to 20. So 2a plus 3d is equal to 20. So now 2a plus 3 into d value is 2. We will substitute this is equal to 20. So 2a plus 3 to the 6 is equal to 20. So 2a is equal to 20 plus 6 gets transposed to RHS. It becomes minus 6. So 2a is equal to 20 minus 6 is uh, 12. Sorry. <coughs> 14. So a is equal to 14 by 2. 2 ones are 2 7 are. So a is equal to 7. So we have uh, two values here. One is uh, a and there is d. So now we have to find the sum of the first n terms in general in that AP. Generally, how the sum of the n terms looks like, we have to see depending upon the value of a and d. So let us write the data here. So a is equal to 7, d is equal to 2, n is equal to n because we are finding the sum of two first n terms of the AP. Therefore, we have to take n as n itself and sum of two n terms is equal to how much? So let us go with the formula. So Sn is equal to n by 2 into that is uh, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So sum of the n terms is equal to n by 2 into 2 into a value we will substitute that is 7 plus n minus 1 into d value we will substitute that is uh, 2 here. So n by Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2 7 is uh, 14 plus 2 into n is 2n, 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. So sum of the n terms is equal to n by 2 into 14 minus 2 is uh, 12 plus 2n. So don't stop the answer here because you can still take uh, 2 as the common from the binomial. So Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2 into, I will take 2 as common. So we are left over with 6 plus n. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So Sn is equal to n into 6 plus n, that is n into 6 is 6n plus n into n is n square. So this is the sum of 2 in terms of the AP. So this is a very important format question which was given in CBSE 2019 final examinations. Okay, so we will go with the next very important problem which was asked in uh, 2016 uh, final exams for uh, CBSC. So you, we know that CBSC syllabus and NCIT state syllabus for Karnataka both one and the same. So NCIT students of Karnataka can also 100% follow these questions. Your knowledge will improve a lot. Okay. So how many terms of the AP? 65 comma 60 comma 55 comma dot dot dot. Some AP is given. Let us take it. 65 comma 60 comma 55 comma dot 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 AP, AP is given so in this AP how many terms must be at, taken how many terms must be taken in the sense it should be added so must be taken so that their sum is 0 oh fantastic so AP is given so I am going to start adding this 65 60 plus 55 plus 50 plus 45 plus uh, 35 plus 30 plus 25 plus 20, plus 15, plus 10, plus 5, 0, minus 5, minus 10, minus 20, something. It goes negative. So, 65 is positive here. And the AP should continue until it becomes minus 65 so that minus 65 plus 65 cancels, minus 60 plus 60 cancels, plus minus 55 plus 55 cancels. They go on cancelling and the sum will become equal to 0. So if that sum has to be 0, 
then how many terms should be that is added. So it's a very logical problem. I hope you understood. Somewhere it goes to minus 65. AP goes until minus 65. I am very sure about it because negatives of all these until 0. Right? The positives until 0 and all these terms negatives which comes in further they get cancelled and the answer will be equal to 0. So that's the sum so will be equal to 0. So A is equal to 65. We will take the first term. D is equal to a2 minus a1, so d is equal to 60 minus 65, d is equal to be very careful, it is 60 minus 65, so therefore common difference is minus 5, so negative. Then sum up to the n term, that is number of terms is uh, sum up, sum is 0, so therefore uh, sum of the n terms is 0, very important uh, data, then you have to find the number of terms. So A is uh, 65, right. let us go with the sum formula, Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 into D, sum of the n terms we know that it is 0, so n by 2 into 2 into A, that is 2 into 65 plus n minus 1 into D is minus 5, please keep within brackets, because minus 5 is negative, so 0 is equal to n by 2 into 2 into 65 is uh, 130 plus uh, minus 5 into plus n that is minus 5n minus 5 into minus 1 is plus 5 so 130 plus 5 becomes 0 is equal to n by 2 into 130 plus 5 that is uh, 135 minus 5n so this can be written as n into this, n into 135 minus 5n by 2, so it is by 1, let us go with the cross multiplication, so n into 135 minus 5n into 1 is the same thing remains, n into 135 minus 5n is equal to 0 into 2 is 0, so 135 minus 5n is equal to 0 by n, so 0 by n becomes again 0, so 135 minus 5n is equal to 0, minus 5n is equal to, transpose this plus 135 to RHS, so it becomes minus 135, so minus and minus cancels, so n is equal to 135 by, it is 5, so n is equal to 5 1, 1 times, 5 2 times, 5 7 times is 35, so n is equal to 27, so how many terms should be added? in this AP to get the sum as 0, so we have to add 27 terms. So if 27 terms are added, 27 terms are added, then sum will be, sum will be 0. So this is a very fantastic problem. So it was given in 2016 CBSC final examinations. Okay, so now we will go with the next very important problem. So it was given in CBSC 2015 final examinations. So in an AP, if sum up to 5 terms plus sum up to 7 terms is 167. So it is very important data, S5 plus S7 is equal to 167. In a sense what he has done is, he has taken an AP, he had added the first 5 terms that is S5 and again he has added the first 7 terms that is uh, S7, the total sum he has got is 167 that is S5 plus S7 is 167 and in the same AP what he has done, he has added the first 10 terms so it comes to 235 in the same AP, not the different AP, same AP he has taken the sum up to 10 terms, he has got uh, 235 so if this is the thing, find the AP, you have to find the AP so in order to find an AP we know that uh, we need the first term and uh, common difference. So using uh, these two data, we have to find out first term and common difference, then we have to reach to the AP. So in this problem, I will be going with you for half of the problem, the second half of the problem, you have to continue, you have to do it in your classwork. Okay, we will go with this, S5 plus S7 is equal to 167, so let us define uh, S5. So S5 can be defined as uh, 5 by 2 
into 2a plus 5 minus 1 into d plus s 7 can be defined as 7 by 2 into 2a plus 7 minus 1 into d which is equal to 167. So, I have defined the s5 which is this entire thing. I have defined s7 which is this entire thing which is equal to 167. Okay, let us go, go with this. 5 cannot be divided by 2, so therefore it will be like that. So, 2a plus 5 minus 1 is uh, 4, 4 into d is 4d plus uh, again it cannot be divided, so it remains as 7 by 2. So, 2a plus 6 minus, uh, 7 minus 1 is 6, 6 into d is 6d is equal to 167. Okay, let us continue this, 5 by 2 into, see if you observe in this binomial, we can see that 2 is there and multiple of 2 is there, we can take 2 as a common factor. So, it remains a plus 2, 4d becomes 2d plus 7 by 2 into, okay, let us take again 2 as a common here, because 2 is there, multiple of 2, 6 is there, so a plus 3d is equal to 167. So, 2 into a is 2a, 2 into 3d is 6d. So, here 2 into a is 2a, 2 into 2d is 4d. So, 2 and 2 gets cancelled, here 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So, remaining thing is 5 into a plus 2d plus here 7 into a plus 3d is equal to 167. So, 5 into a is 5a plus 5 into 2d is 10d plus 7 into a is 7a plus 7 into 3d is 21d is equal to 167. So, 5a plus uh, 7a is uh, 12d plus 10d plus 21d is uh, 31d is equal to 167. Okay, cannot do anything here because uh, we don't get, they get any common here. So, 12d plus 31d is 167, take it as equation 1. So, let us go with the second uh, data that is S10 is equal to 235. So, S10 is uh, 235, we will define this S10. So, S10 can be defined as 10 by 2 into 2a plus 10 minus 1 into d which is equal to 235. So, it comes like n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 235. So, we can divide 2 ones are 2, 5 times it goes. So, 5 into 2a plus 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 into d is 9d is equal to 235. So, 2a plus 9d is equal to, we we'll transpose 5 to the RHS, that becomes 235 by 5. So, 2a plus 9d is equal to 5, 4 times is uh, 25, 7 times is uh, 35. So, it is 47. So, take it as equation 2. So, now my job is over. So, what you have to do is, Using equation 1 and equation 2, you have to solve these two equations, how I showed in your the, the previous problem, that is the first problem. So, find out uh, A or D, whichever is there. So, again, you put it in any one of the equations, you get uh, D. So, using A and D, uh, find the AP, using the general form of the AP, that is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, dot, dot, dot. So, it is for 4 marks. Okay, we will go with the next very important problem which has again come in uh, the CBSC final examinations. So, sum of first n terms of an AP is 5n minus n square. So, how to find the sum of the n terms of an AP? We have, we have solved problems on it. So, he has an AP and uh, sum of the n terms of the AP he has uh, given us. So, using that we have to find the nth term of that AP. So, it is uh, very simple, we can do it in uh, two methods by using uh, sn is equal to 5n minus n square, you can find out first term, you can find out uh, uh, s2. So, subtracting uh, s1 from s2, you get uh, the second term. Uh, second term minus first term will give you d. So, using uh, a and d, you can reach the nth term of the ap. So, that is one of the method, usual method what teachers do in the classes. So, I will go with a very a simple different uh, method. I hope you will enjoy it. <coughs> So, sum of the n terms is 5n minus n square. So, we are asking you to find out the nth term of the AP. So, we know that. 
So Sn minus Sn minus 1 is the nth term. So in the note in the previous classes I have given this Sn minus Sn minus 1 is An. So An can be written as Sn minus Sn minus 1. We will substitute the values now. So nth term is equal to sum of the n terms is 5n minus n square minus this minus comes here. Uh, sum Sn minus 1 is be very careful. Uh, 5, write this 5. So instead of n, you have to substitute n minus 1. So n minus 1 minus, instead of n, n we have to substitute n minus 1 where we have to put n square to it. So n minus 1 whole square. So it is uh, 5n minus n square, but n is n minus 1. So in place of n, you have to substitute n minus 1 where I have successfully substituted that. So next thing is uh, careful simplification. So an is, is equal to 5n minus n square minus 5 into n is uh, 5n, 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 minus open flower brackets because this binomial is going to get expanded by using the formula a minus b whole square. So we are uh, well aware of the formula in your previous classes, you have learned it. So n square plus 1 minus 2n a square plus b square minus 2ab so that is a minus b whole square so nth term is equal to 5n minus n square minus so 5n minus 5 uh, if the things are to be simplified still inside this don't open brackets if already they are simplified you can open the bracket now so minus into plus n square is uh, okay, minus n square minus into plus 1 is uh, minus n, sorry, minus 1 minus into minus uh, 2n is plus 2n. So, this is uh, how we open the floor brackets. So, an is equal to 5n minus n square. So, we have to simplify certain things inside brackets. So, first we do it. So, <coughs> minus n square is here. First write down that. Uh, plus 2n plus 5n is uh, plus 7n minus 5 minus 1 that is minus 6. So this is uh, the simplified thing. So an is equal to 5n minus n square minus into plus minus into minus n square is plus n square minus into plus 7n is minus 7n minus into minus 6 is plus 6. So still we have to simplify this. So minus n square plus n square cancels plus 5n minus 7n that comes to an is equal to uh, plus 5n minus 7n is minus 2n minus 2n plus 6 that is the constant left out. So I can take uh, still 2 as common. So an is equal to minus 2 if you take common so it comes to uh, minus that is n minus 6. You can just uh, stop it there itself. So better to stop it here. So n is equal to 6 minus 2n. So this is the nth term of the AP. So this is the method how you can reach to the nth term of an AP when the n sum of the n terms of an AP is given. So this is the best method you can do. This is for 2 marks. Okay, so we will go with another very important uh, problem which was given in the CBSC 2017 final examinations. It is very important. I will take you for half the way, the other half of the problem. You have to go with that. So, the problem goes like this. In an AP of 50 terms, so in AP, the AP has 50 terms, 5, 0, 15, not 15, it is 50 terms. So, sum of first 10 terms of the AP is 210. So he has added the first 10 terms of the AP and he has got the sum as 210. So therefore, yes, 10 is equal to 210. Okay. And sum of its last 15 terms is 2565. So this is uh, the point where you have to be very careful. So you have 50 terms, 50, 50 terms. Sum of first 10 terms is 210. And sum of last 15 terms starting from the 36th term. 36th term. 37 plus 38 plus 39 plus 40 plus dot 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 plus 49 plus 50. So they become 
last 15 terms. So the sum of last 15 terms is, he has given it a big number that is 2565. So if this is the thing, find the AP. I hope you understood the problem. Sum of first 10 terms is 210. Sum of last 15 terms is 2565. So find the AP. So in order to find the AP, the basic thing required, basic uh, uh, quantities required is uh, first term and common difference. So I will be setting up uh, two equations for you. So using those two equations, you have to find A and D. Then you have to reach to the AP. That is your uh, job. Okay. So S10 is uh, 210. Let us define this S10. So S10 can be written as uh, 10 by 2 into 2A plus 10 minus 1 into D, which is equal to 210. So 2 ones are 5 times. So it goes 5 into 2A plus 9D. So 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 into D is 9D is equal to 210. So 2A plus 9D is equal to 210. Let us divide this 210 by 5. This 5 goes to the denominator. So 2A plus 9D is equal to 5 1 times 5 4s are 20. 1 remains 5 2s are 10. That is 42. So 2A plus 9D is equal to 42. You cannot take common here because 9 is not a multiple of 2. So take it as equation 1. So let us go with uh, equation 2 now. Right. Sum of its last 15 terms is 2565. This is very important. You can go by any of the method you want. But uh, this is what I do is errorless and you are well known to the uh, theory which is the background for this. Okay. Sum of last 15 terms. So here last 15 terms starts from the 36th term. So many of you take it as 35th term. So it's not 35th. If you take 35th term and 50th term, so you will be coming with uh, 16 terms. So that becomes an error. So please take a count. 36th term, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41st term, 42nd, 43rd, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So therefore, exactly there are 50 terms. So while taking the sum of last 15 terms, the first term becomes the 36th term, not 35th term. So be very careful. So it is 36th term. So A36 we will define. So A36 is equal to A plus 35D. And the last term of the 15 terms, uh, bunch of 15 terms, in the bunch of 15 terms, the last term becomes the 50th term. So A50 can written as A plus 49D. So here A36 becomes the first term and A50 becomes the last term in that sum. In that sum. So we will apply the formula. When the last term, when the first term and last term are given and you are having the number of terms, we are having the number of terms, we can use the formula Sn is equal to uh, n by 2 into a plus l. So this is the formula here. So sum of the n terms is already given. That is 2565 uh, is equal to n. You know, n is uh, 15 terms. So 15 by 2 into first term is the 36th term among the bunch of 15 terms. Sum of 15 terms. So therefore a is uh, a plus 35d plus last term is a 50 that is a plus 49d. So 2565 is equal to 15 by 2 into a plus a is uh, 2a plus 84d. 35d plus 49d is 84d. So let us go, go with this. So 2565 is equal to 15 by 2 into, you can take 2 as uh, common here because 84 is a multiple of 2. So if you take 2 as common, you are left over with A plus 42D. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So 2565 uh, is equal to 15 into A plus 42D. So this is the thing. Uh, we will go with the next step. 2565 is equal to 15 into 15 into a is 15a plus 
15 into 42 D. 15 into A is uh, 15 A, so 15 into 42 D. So it becomes 630 D. So 2565 is equal to, you can take 15 as uh, common. So it becomes A plus, uh, you know, take 15 as common. So you have to divide 630 by 15, so it comes to 42 D. Okay. So A plus 42 D is equal to 2565. Uh, this 15 we will uh, put it to the denominator of uh, 2565. So it becomes uh, 15. Okay. So A plus 42 D is equal to 15. One times you have to divide 2565 by 15. So that comes to 171 times. So take it as equation 2. So your job is to solve equation uh, 1 and equation 2 find the value of A and then you have to substitute that value of A in only any one of the equations you are going to get D so using the value of A and D you have to reach the AP using the general formula right so from here you have to continue right? so until now uh, four problems have been uh, done on board which are very important so two problems have been given as a part of the problem has, has been given as a homework for you. So please do the homework. Send me the answers through the WhatsApp. Excellent work you are doing. I am very happy about it. So today also I am sending, sending you a worksheet through WhatsApp. So please solve all the problems which makes you uh, get a good grip on the topic. So I hope you are feeling easy. So arithmetic progressions, once you understand the theoretical background, and once you start imagining that is the AP and the terms which are inside it, so what's all the things happening inside AP, if you start feeling it, any problem on, on AP, you can do it. So this is the session 21. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, keep practicing the problems. Please keep your notes updated. Right? Follow all the topper secrets, what, uh, what I am uh, sharing with you every day. Please try to inculcate all those things in your uh, uh, studies. I hope you enjoyed it. So stay home, stay safe, keep learning. Thank you.